You heard it here first, I believe Bitcoin is going lower. Welcome back everyone, Mariah Monetize here. And in today's video, I have some updates on you when it comes to lending platforms. So we're gonna talk about a new announcement with Nexo.io. We're gonna talk a little bit about Celsius, the loyalty program, as well as some new promotion codes that are now available. I'm also gonna be talking about where I'm gonna be placing approximately $100,000 in stable coins. So, you know, a few weeks ago, I sold off some cryptocurrency and I'm gonna be explaining to you exactly where I'm gonna be sending those stable coins to and how much interest I will be earning on them. And then last but not least, we are definitely getting to a Bitcoin price review. We're going over all time frames to see exactly where Bitcoin is headed next and going over if it's still correlating with traditional markets. So two days ago, Nexo.io announced 139 pairs on the exchange. They also announced that they have four new DeFi coins here. So that's all very exciting news. When it comes to Nexo, they currently have a bonus promotion going. So if you go to Nexo.io down here in the bottom, um, just click this little welcome bonus and you can see here, get $100 of a welcome bonus paid out in BTC when you make your first top up of $1,000 or more. So. Basically, if you use that sign up link, uh, if you want to deposit $1,000 or more, that makes sense. Okay. There's also a second option that if you basically use my referral code and you deposit $100 or more, you will get a $25 bonus. So honestly, they kind of mess this up when it comes to people wanting to refer uh, Nexo.io because you might use the link that really doesn't benefit me, but they're getting a ton of uh, coverage for me talking about it. So depending on what works best for you, um, use what code is at your most advantage, absolutely. So that's kind of what's happening over at Nexo.io. Another thing I want to mention that's really interesting with Nexo is that they actually are giving an option when it comes to zero percent on loans. So you can see here, add more collateral to your credit line, wallet, and lower your interest rate to 0% APR. So when you go ahead and look at the details here, if I wanted to add, if I wanted to take advantage of the 0% APR, the additional asset that I would need to deposit um, is having crypto worth more than $1.26 million. But I do have a very big loan here um, taken out on Nexo. So 300 and $74,000 is the loan that I have out on Nexo. So just to kind of give you some perspective there. So over here on Celsius, I've been a Celsius customer for nearly a year and a half now. So um, I do have a handful of sell tokens now. So if you look at their current loyalty level, you can see I'm bronze. I only have um, about a hundred sell tokens at the time, but you can see here that depending on your loyalty level, depending on how many sell tokens you have, it changes the benefits and it changes the dynamic of your Celsius experience. So you can see here that at the bronze level, um, bonus rewards, I would earn 10% and the loan interest discount is 5% when I pay and sell tokens. So you can see here that I'm at 9.48% of sell tokens um, away from silver. And then you can see down here the different benefits between bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. And so they actually have a situation here where um, no matter what amount you have, like let's say you have millions and millions of dollars of, uh, in your Celsius account, as long as you have at least 25,000 cell tokens, then that qualifies you to be at the platinum level. And you know, it's pretty good. You can see here that you can earn 30% more on bonus rewards and your loan discount is 25%, so pretty significant. So one thing I've decided to do as of lately is I am going to just start earning and sell tokens when it comes to all of my rewards. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is just click, you can see on like Ethereum, um, I'm earning 5.35 on the first 30, um, but I'll earn 5.9 rewards when I switch over to sell tokens. You can see here on my USD coin, um, it's 7.1%, but if I earn in sell tokens and that bumps me up to 7.83%. I have Litecoin turned on, um, which is the same in both scenarios. Um, Bitcoin SV, um, this is just a fork basically, 2% APY, 
but when I earn and sell tokens, I'm going to go ahead and bump that up to 2.22. So you can see here, beginning of Monday, the 21st of March, exactly one week, you'll earn rewards and sell on your selected coin balance. So I'm hoping that over time, this will just help me increase my status here when it comes to the loyalty program on Celsius. So on Celsius, I've also taken out a $30,000 loan at 1%, which is excellent. I only pay like $26, $27 a month on interest on that $30,000 loan. So that's one of the best things about Celsius is that their rates are absolutely awesome when it comes to taking out loans. When you compare like Celsius versus BlockFi with loans, Celsius is like the clear winner, like by a mile. All right, so Celsius has all sorts of new promo codes that I wanted to share with you guys. And if you want to get started at Celsius today, you can go and use my referral link down below. So you will receive $50 of BTC. I will receive $50 of BTC when you deposit $400 or more into your Celsius account. So that is one way that you can support my channel. So you can see here that there are BTC, Celsius, AVAX, and Luna promotion codes at the time. These sell ones are for non-US customers. Some of these range from 30 days of holding the funds in there to receive the promo. Some are up to 180 days, which is quite significant. You can see here that you can earn $600 in Luna if you deposit $20,000 and you hold it there for 180 days. Um, they also have, you know, an option if you want to hold just for 90 days, um, you can deposit $500 worth and earn $20. So these things all add up over time. And you might think like, okay, you know, $20 in Luna, but then if you start earning interest on that $20 in Luna and that starts compounding over time, things can add up incredibly quickly. So I just wanted to make sure that you guys were aware of that. And one thing also is that you can actually take advantage of more than one promo code, but the order in which you activate the promo code matters. So under the promo code section, I've read this before in my previous video, so I don't want to read it again to you guys, but basically read this and follow the exact direction so that you earn the maximum possible. One small thing you do out of order can change how much you earn with the promo code. So make sure you pay close attention to that. Okay, so where am I putting this $100,000 in stable coins that I currently have? So basically, if you guys heard, I got SIM swap, so I had to reactivate a ton of my accounts, and it's been three to four weeks now, and I'm still waiting for my Vault account to come back. But Vault is by far um, the best currently right now when it comes to earning on your stable coin. So just to give you an idea, um, I will be transferring over USDC, and you can see here that the rate is 9.41%. But if I lock it up and I do the fixed deposit rate, which basically means locking up your funds for 30 days, I will earn 12.68%, which is really great. If you remember back over here on Celsius, um, US, my USD coin is now earning 7.83%, but I'm earning it in a sell token. And before that, it was like 7.1%. So that is a big big difference when it comes to the two platforms. Vault is gonna be by far the winner for me when it comes to earning in stable coins, earning that interest on stable coins. So what I, if you wanna try out Vault, which I've been using it for two months and really enjoying the experience thus far, I have a link down below where you can check out Vault and their rates are amazing. Um, you can actually just create an account without even doing KYC, which is awesome. I trust Vault because Peter Thiel, he is an investor, and so is Coinbase Venture. So those two big names um, have me pretty confident in the whole Vault platform. So I'm still waiting to get access back to my account, um, but I've done KYC over Zoom and everything, so that's gonna be coming soon. Once I get my Vault account, which is gonna be in just a couple of days, I'm gonna be transferring over that $100,000 over to Vault and earning that 1%. So, I mean, that's pretty awesome. If I am earning on Vault, uh, the 12.68%, that's like 12, over $12,000 in one year, just on about $100,000. So, and obviously if I just keep compounding my interest then that's just gonna grow over the year. So I'm pretty excited to do that. Let's go ahead and do a Bitcoin price review. What is Bitcoin up to? So this right here is a seven day chart on Bitcoin. This is not really looking that great. Um, we saw Bitcoin jump a little bit over here a few days ago. Um, excuse me, that was not a few days ago. We'll look back at the daily chart when the US announced some positive news surrounding crypto. This is one thing is that people are always concerned about 
governments and governments getting involved and regulating cryptocurrency in the long term, I don't think that's going to do anything because what's going to happen over time is that <laughs> governments are going to be pro Bitcoin. They're going to give people tax advantages for holding crypto, having crypto, starting crypto related businesses. Game theory is just going to unfold right, right in front of you. So this is a daily chart, not looking good. Okay. I don't want to see Bitcoin go below the low of this candle right here of last week, which is 37,161. If we break the low of that candle, I wouldn't be surprised if we start going down to like $28,000. Okay. Because Bitcoin has like been kind of sort of like in this range and not really done too much. I think that there's one more point of capitulation before it continues to go up. So the fact that here, so let's move on to the daily chart. Weekly chart is looking terrible. This is a daily chart here. The fact that we've like had a bit of a bump, you know, over to like 45,000, this was like the beginning of March. And then we've just been like trending downwards. That does not look good to me. The daily chart does not look good. So honestly, I think things are going to get really ugly and I really wasn't considering selling much more, but I don't take, I, I, most of the time, I don't look at the charts unless I'm making a video about it. It's very rarely that I pay close attention to the charts because I just don't want it to control my day and control my life. But this daily chart looks bad. And these charts, it's kind of making me nauseous looking at these charts, to be honest with you, which is interesting because I consider myself to be an intuitive trader. People are like, you're absolutely insane. Like, you know what? My intuition has got me to the place where I want to be. So the low of this candle is 37,580, 37,560. So technically on the daily chart, the red two has started trading below the red one. So um, buying in right now feels like catching a falling knife. It's kind of challenging to short at these levels because I still do believe like Bitcoin, the more you've been in the space and if you just entered in the last year, you're not going to really feel this way. But being in cryptocurrency, it's like Bitcoin can go up $10,000 in one single day. And because it has happened previously, I believe it'll happen again. And that's why I'm always quite terrified to sell. But honestly, the charts are just looking horrendous. There's like nothing that looks good about this. This is a 12 hour chart here on Bitcoin. I would need to see Bitcoin make a higher high above like 42,550, right? It needs to make a higher high, um, but it's really far from that. It would need a big, big, big jump. And Bitcoin is still correlating with traditional markets. So this is the four hour chart here. Um, Bitcoin trading some sideways, looking a little bit better with this green moving average kind of crossing above the red. So things are starting to look better as we zoom in here on shorter uh, time frames. But the daily, weekly, very, very bad. Okay, the hourly chart actually looks decent for a couple reasons. We made a higher high over here. Uh, we made a higher low. And if Bitcoin in the next, uh, I would say, eight to 10 hours can make a higher high and go above the high of this candle, which is... 39,310, which we're really close to that. We're only about $300 away. I think that'd be a very, very positive sign for Bitcoin. So I would say keep a close eye on the hourly chart. The other time frames look absolutely terrible. This is the five minute chart here. Excuse me, the 30 minute chart here actually looks good as well. If we see some more strength and make a higher high uh, by the end of the day, then that would be a really good sign as well. So of course, you know, there is as always, correlation here with Bitcoin and S&P. So let's go ahead and find 930 on this chart. So you can see here that once the market's open, Bitcoin went down a little bit and then it's recovered and it's done a little bit better on this five minute chart. And when you go in and take a look over here, uh, let's go and look at SPY. So um, the charts look really similar, right? That was a five minute chart. Um, it opened down initially and then room to the upside. So let's go ahead and compare the bottoms of the day and how much they have increased percentage wise. So this is SPY. So SPY jumped 1.3% from um, the down, um, the, the lowest point on the day. So let's go ahead and take a look at Bitcoin here. And so that was 1.3%. I'm curious to see um, what the difference is going to be on Bitcoin versus spy so over here was the bottom of the day once the market opened and bitcoin went up 1.46 percent so 
Bitcoin jumped a little bit higher than SPY did, but very, very similar, right? Just 0.15 of a difference off. So that's kind of what we're seeing there. Um, we're seeing a lot of coins up between like one and 5% today. Uh, let's go and take a quick look at Ethereum to see what Ethereum is up to. So uh, this is the five minute chart on Ethereum. And let's go ahead and see, because you know, Ethereum traded very similarly to Bitcoin. And so um, it was also up about 1.5%. So Bitcoin, Ethereum, S&P all kind of jumped approximately the same amount from um, when things hit a low just five to 10 minutes after traditional markets open. So let's look at the daily chart here on Ethereum. Um, you know, looking very similar to Bitcoin, not good, extremely weak, extremely, extremely weak, you guys. So that's all I have for you today um, on the markets. Larger time frames not looking good. The hourly is looking okay. I would kind of like look at the hourly right now for guidance um, to see if we see a momentum shift. But like I said, things are just not looking that good. I know I mentioned that I'm gonna sell. I mean, it takes a lot for me to wanna sell, but the fact that I was looking at these charts and I feel nauseous, you know, the body doesn't lie. You gotta listen to the signs that your body gives you. So I probably will not sell, and then I'll look back at this video and be like, can you listen to your intuition, Mariah? Please, it was right there in front of you, caught on camera. So that's all that I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, wanna support my channel, I got Celsius links down below. If you wanna get really low interest rates on loans, I have Vault links for you. If you wanna earn a really generous amount on your stable coins, so that is all that I have for you today. Let's go out there and create a portfolio that you love.